Hi, I'm Ted Rogers, and this is History by the Plate. You know, it is not just what we have eaten that has changed through the ages. We know that our diets have changed. But did you know that how we eat actually has changed significantly and up until our very, very recent history? Consider the advent of the fork. Yes, I know. We see it in movies all the time. We see, you know, ancient kings eating with a fork. We see them in westerns in the United States all the time, don't we? But the fork was actually a very, very recent addition to our tables. Now consider this story. It's the story of a Byzantium princess in the 11th century, and she is one of the first individuals to be recorded in Western literature actually using a fork. And the record of her using the fork was definitely not what we would call, oh, kind. It was by an ascetic monk uh, named St. Peter Damien. And this is what he wrote of that princess. Such was the luxury of her habits that she deigned not touch her food with her fingers, but would command her eunuchs to cut it up into small pieces, which she would then impale on a certain golden instrument with two prongs, and thus carry it to her mouth. No, the fork would not make inroads into the common table use until much, much later. In the Middle Ages, most people ate off of pieces of stale bread called trenchers, which could hold cooked meat and vegetables down to be cut and then brought directly to the mouth. Forks, having journeyed to Italy from Byzantium, arrived in France along with Catherine de' Medici, who traveled in 1533 to, from Italy to France to marry Henry II. During this time, France was riven by sectarian violence, and Catherine, very brightly, used massive public festivals and feasts to demonstrate the power of the monarchy. Food was part of this strategy, and Catherine's eating methods, as well as the foods, went on display as she toured the country for more than a year in the 1560s, drumming up popular support for the monarchy and devising an etiquette that forced members of rival factions to eat together at her table. And yes, this was the introduction of the fork to France. By the 17th and 18th centuries, the fork was a common utensil among the French well-to-do, though still usually in just a two-pronged version, much like today's carving fork. However, as late as the late 19th century, that's the 1890s, the fork had yet to achieve full adoption in Britain, where sailors and soldiers alike refused to use them, considering them sloppy and unmanly. It was not, then, until the 20th century that the use of the fork became common across classes in Europe as well as in the New World. So, what about the spoon? Well, the first spoon was this guy, a snail shell, which would be used to dip some liquid, pour it in your mouth. But that's a different story. For more fun history tidbits, recipes, and demonstrations, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website at www.historybytheplate.com. This has been Ted Rogers on History by the Plate. Have a great day.